Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about AI Image Generator for Architecture, Sketch to Render AI, Create Interior Design. So for this one, everything that I've said earlier, Architecture Design, Interior Design, and basically for that one, we can render AI generations for this one as well. This is going to be called Open Art AI. So I have made a video about this one specifically focusing on the Create Image Generations, wherein you can create your very own images with so different models. So we have it Flux 1 for this one, we have Flux Dev. I have created a version for that one. Same goes for Flux Schnell, so please check it out. There are so many things to do here. Now before we get started, as best practice of course, let's talk about the pricing. So right now these are going to be the prices. I have the one that says free trial. I only have 41 time trial credits. Take note, those doesn't refresh, they doesn't um, refill. So you just have to buy for the paid plan if you want to use this further. These are the monthly and these are going to be the annual um, prices. Now let's look for some things here wherein you can check on every um, creation from other creators. We have them right there. As you can see, they're really good. Trust me guys, OpenArt AI is a really awesome application. So let's focus right now on Sketch to Image. So while there, go to Applications. Look for the one that says Sketch to Image. Before I go with that one, there are so many applications to do here. One of the, my favorite for that one is Expand. Remove Background, Image Blender, there are so much here, but for today, we're going to focus on Sketch to Image. Run it right there, and there are the samples. For example, right there, just add a sketch, and it will turn it into an awesome AI. So for that one there, if you don't have a sketch, you can try it there. We have so much choices, more examples to use with. However, I have one on my end right there. On my folder, let me just look for it real quickly. I have five by the way, so I'm going to use that one. By the way guys, you can use so much AI or applications to create those sketches. The one I was using was going to be this one, Mid Journey. As you can see right there, it's an awesome AI. I have so many videos regarding Mid Journey, so please check it out. Anyway, let's go back on the application from earlier. Perfect, we have that right there. So let me just show it to you guys before. It's going to be rendered into an awesome photo. It looks like this one, right? It's a plain sketch drawing. And simply for this one, describe what's going to happen. So for this one, we're just going to type in a modern building. Now you can adjust your creativity. If you um max it to one, it will look like the AI itself. You go back to similar, it will look like for the sketch. So I suggest always go to 0.5, the middle, halfway. Now for the style, this is actually important. Of course, you have so much to choose from. So since we're talking about sketching and drawing, might as well go for architecture. Optional, you can choose a color theme, but for this one, I'm going to remain as it is. You can upload your reference image if you have something in mind. And number of images, 2. I'm going to stay at 2 because I have so very limited credits. Click create right there. An estimated time of generation for each images would be 9 seconds. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. We have this two right there. Before I open the bob, I just want to show you how it looks like from earlier again. It's going to be this drawing right this one. Let me just pull it up. Perfect. So again guys, please master this one. Be familiarized with it. Because this are going to be the results. Anyway, we have it right there. Almost forgot about that one. Now if you want to expand it, it looks like this. And this is how it should look like before. Pretty awesome, right? It's really good actually. Now let's check for the next one. We have another example for you guys. So it looks like this. Previously and then after. If you want to view it in the full screen, we have it right there. Pretty awesome, pretty simple. And we have this one as a comparison. Pretty awesome, right? Also, guys, you can download from here, for example. You can download as SVG, PNG, or basically JPEG. You can upscale by this option right there. But for this time, we're going to focus just on sketching. You have so much tools on the top sections, which I have discussed on my Open Art AI video. So please, again, check it out. And let's try some more here. So since we have discussed the buildings, how about let's go for interior designs? I have a living room sketch here. Let me just pull it up so you can guys can really see how it looks like before we're going to render it. So it looks something like this one. Alright. It's a pretty simple sketch of a living room. Quite fancy actually. 
So for this one, I'm going to type here a modern living room. Easy as that. I'm going to make sure the creativity is still going to be inside. And for the style, you can choose interior design for that one since it's going to be interior design. How about this one? Let's have some fun for the color theme here. I'm going to go for orange. Number of images, create two. I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be our previous image, right? So this is how it should look like with highlighting the color orange since we pick a theme. Let me just enlarge it. Here it is. Pretty awesome, right? And this is the before image or sketch. And this is going to be the next sample. Let me just go to it right now. I think this should be the one right there. And basically slowly roll it out. I think the second one is much more awesome. Then the first one again. This is the preview. Let me enlarge it. Alright. And this is how it should look like before. I think the second one is better. Now let's have some more samples here. Now, since we have covered buildings and designs, or basically for interiors, how about a product or a shoe basically? Now for the shoe, let me just type in here. A shoe. I'm just going to go for that one. A simple shoe. And for the default style, I'm going to go for default. And for this one, let's go for a little bit more red. Click create. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now, welcome back to the video. This is going to be the shoe originally, right? This is going to be a sketch. And this is how it should look like. Since we have chosen a red design. Let me just pull it up for the enlargement. And this is how it should look like before. This is what we have. Even the shoelace on the right side has been generated. We have another sample here. You can just check it out. This is much more plain. I think I like this better rather than the first one. We have right there. Even this part right there where there's going to be a rough side. It got it right there. Perfect, right? So I have generated some more examples of a house just for discussion purposes. And this is how it should look like. For the next one, we have this one. Change of color. Alright? And basically for that one, let's move on for the next sample. For the next sample, we're going to go back on the choices for applications. As we're going to discuss right now, AI Sticker Generator. Click Run for that one. So basically, you can create this one. So for this, you don't need a sample image. Just type in whatever you want. I'm going to type in Vintage Car. Number of images, two. Basically, for that one, it's going to be easy as that. Click Create. And then I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is what we have a vintage car. This is going to be the full screen. And this is going to be the next sample. I think I like the first one better. Again, guys, you can edit so much here. And then download it as you see fit. You can move to albums. And basically for that one, let's try the next feature, which is going to be t-shirt design. For t-shirt design, I want you to click on create image for that one. And then you'll see my samples that I've created before where you can just zoom it out or zoom it in depending on your own choices. So how to create the teacher design? First, you need to change your model. So we're going to look for the one that says, of course, teacher design. Should be right that one, as you can see right here, teacher design Redmond. And then I'm just going to simply type in a vintage car design. And basically for that one, let's just check for the guidance. Number of images would be two. And I'm not going to change anything here, by the way. Even a creative level will be 0.75. Click create. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. This is going to be our images. So this design can be used in a t-shirt solely. And originally, of course, created by you. Again, guys, you can change your advanced settings here. For example, you want to add some face references, style references, and advanced control net. Depending on your own perspective, even the output size can be changed right there. So again, that's going to be depending on your own choices. And anyway, we thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.